Hey everybody and welcome back to uh, UE5 BP Guru. Today we're going to be looking at creating a new skybox. Um, for this we're going to be creating our spacing for Haven. So it will be more tailored to us, but you could pretty much do this as long as you have a valid material. This is following on from our tutorial last uh, yesterday from uh, Skyspace application. Uh, we're going to be implementing that into the Haven project today. Uh, so it will look a bit more spacey. First thing we want to do is create a new folder. We'll call this uh, Space Skybox, just so we know what's in here. Uh, open it up. And the next thing you want to do is find wherever you saved your file for your, from Spacescape and drag it in. Okay, now we've got our sky box. There's three things we need to change. The first thing we need to change is our MIP gen settings, which is we want to go to no MIP maps. The next thing we want to do is change our texture group. And we want to set that to um, skybox. And then we also want to change our compression settings to user interface. Now, it won't look like much has changed here at the minute, but basically what's happened is it, it, if you zoomed in, it was quite fuzzy, and now it's got rid of a lot of that and added sort of a little bit more detail, basically. Save it and close it. And then what we want to do is now create a material and call this um, space SB mat. And we want to create a blueprint class and we want to be actor. And we'll call this space SB underscore BP. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. Open up the skybox first. We're going to uh, add a new static mesh. You can call this skybox if you want to, or you can just leave it as, as static mesh. It really doesn't make much difference. But on in the static mesh, we want to find SM underscore sky sphere. We'll go for this one. It really, again, doesn't make too much of a difference, but we'll, we'll use this one. Compile. Now we'll obviously change the material to the one we want shortly. But for now, just uh, move it over here. Go back to the third map. We want to click and find our other SM Sky Sphere. Delete it. We also want to delete our exponential height fog. And we also want to delete the volumetric clouds and our skylight and our sky atmosphere. There we go. Deleting all those, just leave the directional light so that we can still see our scene. Everything else can go. It's as easy as that. Pick up the content drawer and grab the Spacegate blueprint. Open that up and bring it out. While it's selected, set everything to zero, like so. We want to scale. Click on, make sure it's locked. Click on any value and change it to 100,000 for now. Uh, and basically what that does is it expands out the skybox uh, so that it's not going to clip into any of our items and stuff. And if you find down the line when you're creating levels and things like that, that it is still clipping, just make it larger. It's absolutely fine. Some people set it to a million, 10 million. It doesn't matter as long as it's uh, a, a large enough that it doesn't affect the world that you're creating around it. So now we've done all of that, open up the content drawer and open up our sky box material we want to start off with a reflection vector we also want to get a texture sample per, uh, parameter cube and stick that into the UVS we also want to hold down three and click that to get a constant and stick that in there we can leave that as black as well by the way right oh okay now we've got that, we can just stick that into the emissive color. Um, 
but don't forget also to change the texture on this texture sample to our space skybox there we go much better come to the actual material settings itself and just come down to change um, the shading model from default lit to unlit and it'll give you more of those darker space colors there we go there we go and as you can see it looks already amazing but we're gonna go a little bit deeper and try and make it so that we can um, change a few values if we need to okay we'll make a little bit of space now we want three scalar parameters don't name them all SSSSS we want star oh am I not typing sorry we want star brightness we want um, scene brightness and we also want uh, power uh, come off the RGB and get a multiply and plug our power into that let's uh, make a little bit more space so it all makes sense come off the R value and get a uh, 3 power sorry no 3 point levels like so oh scene brightness and star brightness needs to go over a bit um, we want to make if you hold down one we want to make three of those uh, we'll plug one into uh, the new black value we will make this one 0 0.3 probably and stick that into the new middle value and on this one we'll go 2 and stick that into no no I did that wrong sorry that one needs to stay at 0 0.3 and this one needs to stay at 2 and that needs to go into the white value new white value um, next we want to get our star brightness and shove that into a multiply uh, I want that to be in the B value though so that we could put our three point level into A like so okay and for the scene brightness what we want to do is we want to get another one of these we want to add that into a lerp there we go uh, we want to plug the scene brightness into the alpha and then we want to add this multiply into B okay uh, we want a another lerp down here uh, we probably want another multiply as well and then we want to add our star brightness into this multiply we want to add this lerp into the a value and then we want to add that into our alpha sorry this one goes to that this one goes to b and this one goes into the a there we go and then once it loads up we should see our final result let's go into here make this um, space mat and there it is there's our final result there and the reason we put those parameters in is that if you go back to the third person menu and right click and create a material instance we'll call this space sb underscore mat in 
we can uh, in fact go in and set that now as our space mat like so and if we go to our third person section open our material instant uh, yes I would like to apply the changes oh there we go and we can start increasing these values and can actually amend how bright everything is now in the scene so if I wanted the nebulous to look a little bit brighter maybe this starts to not be so bright I can drag that down a bit or I can increase it you know you can play around with the values now and um, create just basically some more interesting effects I mean look how much more vibrant it looks just from messing around with a few figures and then if you save and apply those it just looks a million times better if we like zoom around there we go and now we've got a interesting skybox that we can kind of make brighter darker and things like that um, and you can do this a million times with the spacecape app because you can just change things over so if you wanted to make a, a space exploration game you can create new areas to explore uh, and have all these kind of different nebulas and stuff and make them brighter darker and things so hopefully this helps uh, this is obviously ready now for the the haven project to go i might change the space looking scene i don't know but i quite like it at the minute let me know what you think in the comments and uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if there's any tutorials make sure you let me know thank you so much guys bye